This is the Osearch Shark Tracker. You may want to check it out on their website or app because, well, it's cool. Just look at how far these sharks travel and you can follow along on their journeys along with researchers. Also, Duval County comes in fifth and St. Johns County sixth in the highest number of shark attacks in the country. The ocean tends to be this mysterious place. Whether this music comes to mind when you think about sharks or you're trying to do this, the likelihood of you actually meeting a shark is low, even though Florida is known as the shark attack capital of the world. We've been talking about him lately, Mahone. Brian Franks, big shark fan and a marine science professor at Jacksonville University, partners with Osearch, which runs this shark tracker. You can't look at the tracker and say, oh, there's no sharks off Jack's Beach. I'm going to be perfectly safe because, as I said, there's only a small number of the sharks with tags. The shark tracker is used for research, especially for the great white shark, known as the ultimate predator. We want to see their migration patterns and, you know, where they go, when they go there, and, and ultimately why they go there. But then we're also taking a suite of other samples. All part of solving the mysteries of the ocean. And I still get excited about trying to answer those questions. Frank says the population of the great white shark is doing well thanks to the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.